I remember where I was sat as a 10 year old boy in a church service just like this one, sat right at the front and with my dad and he was a 37 year old man. He'd been a, a hard man, an army man and a, a complete atheist. And it wasn't until his older brother, Charles, who'd been a Christian and had been praying for our family for 18 years. It wasn't until, until Uncle Charles was diagnosed with cancer that my dad, seeing the, who he thought was his softy Christian older brother, actually in, in the face of death, completely unafraid to die, that my dad decided this God must be real. And my dad became a Christian and we were invited to church and the preacher that day had saved us two seats right on the front row in, in the middle of all of the, the church elders and we sat there and we, we laughed and we cried and I remember where I sat looking up at my dad and he was with tears streaming down his face at, at the loss of his brother but also tears of the moment that he met his saviour, his loving father tears of God's restoration in his heart tears of joy and of peace and of forgiveness and I remember seeing where I was sat, seeing my dad's life changed, seeing a hard man become soft in the presence of God and it was the beginning of an incredible time for our family coming to know Jesus, the four of us, my mom and my dad and my older brother and myself and a lot of our extended family and today my wife and I and my children are giving because we want to see God do that again and again and again. We want to see His restoration power at work in this city and in this nation. We want to see lives and individuals and families transformed. So that's why we're giving today.